Welcome to Mathematics with M's, Grade 12, DBE 2022, Final Paper 2, Question 10. Don't forget to give me a huge like and to subscribe. Remember, subscription is free. Right, Question 10. In the diagram, PQRS is a cyclic quadrilateral. KP is a tangent to the circle at P. C and D are points on the chords PQ and PS, respectively, and CD produced meets RS produced at A. CA is parallel to QS, RC is drawn, P1 is equal to R2. Now you must prove with reasons that S1 equals to T2, that AD over AR equals to AS over AC, and that AC times SD equals to AR times TC. Right, this is question 10. So in this diagram, PQRS is a cyclic quad, KP is a tangent to the circle at P, C and D are points on the chord, PQ and PS respectively, and C produce means RS at A. So CA is parallel to QS. So there is QS and there is CA. So they are parallel and of course angle P1, yes angle P1 is equal to angle R2. First question is, prove that S1 equals to T2. Prove that S1 equals to T2. Now there's S1. Prove equals to T2. Right? Uh, there's T, so you must prove that this angle is equal to that angle. So let's start. So P1, right? This P1 is equal to Q1. P1, P1 here, and Q1 are equal. What is the reason? Well, it is the 10 chord theorem. Remember, 10 chord theorem. Right? Remember, this is a tangent. So this is 10, and that is the angle in the opposite segment, and of course, subtended by PS. So it's a 10 chord theorem. Then angle S1, like this S1 here, is equal to Q1 plus Q2. Q1 plus Q2. Why? It is the exterior angle of the cyclic quad. Remember, the S angle equals to the opposite interior angle. So therefore, S1 is then the same as P1 plus, P, P, plus Q2. P1 plus Q2. Then T2, this T2, Right? Is equal to R2 plus, plus Q2. R2 plus Q2. Plus Q2. What is the reason? Exterior angle of a triangle. Exterior angle of a triangle. Right? Remember that. But P1 is equal to R2. That was given to us, remember? That, that P1, this P1 here, sorry, P1 is equal to uh, R2, don't forget that. So therefore, T2, right, is then equal to P1 plus Q2, right? So therefore, S1 is then T2, which is P1 plus Q2. Right, the second question, prove that AD over AR equals to AS over AC. Now, how will we approach this problem? What you do is look at these sides and see where do you see them in the sketch. Like AD, now there you see AD, for instance. Where do you see AR? There you see AR, that whole line there. Where do you see AS? There you are AS, lies from there to there, AS. And then, of course, where do you see AC? There you see AC. So you must choose the, the correct triangles to prove them similar. So that is a secret. So in triangle ASD, A, so is this one here, ASD, and of course triangle ACR. So you will see the overlap. So let's prove them similar because if I prove them similar, it is really going to help me. So it is, I must prove triangle. Remember the naming is also very important. ASD, I must prove similar to triangle ACR. 
because the naming is perfect because remember this comes from the namings like AD over AR equals to AS over AC so, it is, so I can, if I can prove them similar then I can make this deduction so let's get started so for both triangles angle A is common for both triangles and the angle A is common then S1 S1 is equal to T2 S1 and uh, T2 are equal it's already proven and then T2 and C2 T2 and C2 are equal why? because they are alternate angles remember those two lines are parallel so they form alternate angles therefore S1 right, if you look at S1 therefore S1 is equal to C2 S1 equals to C2 therefore D1 look at D1 here D1 is then equal to R1 D1 equals to R1 so therefore the two triangles are similar and if they're similar right then I can make this deduction right then question 10.3 prove that AC times SD equals to AR times TC now to be able to do this I must again make use of what is given here that AD over AR equals to AS over AC then I cross multiply and I make AS the subject so then I'll end up with AS equals to AC times CT over CR as it's there in the memo you can see it in the memo then I go to those two lines which are parallel you can see those two lines are parallel so now I'm going to say AS over AR equals to CT over CR remember those two lines are parallel so AS right look here AS over AR right AS over AR equals to CT look here CT over CR right okay so we remember that theorem right so again cross multiply and make AS a subject so now I got two different values for AS so if you let them be equal and then you'll notice that if the two new denominators are equal CR because of CR that means the top two are also equal this is a uh, mathematics with ams Ahmed Suleiman please give me a huge like and don't forget to subscribe Remember, subscription is free.